Can I help you? Uh, yes, do you carry plus size swimwear? Fat people shouldn't wear swimwear. There's an army surplus store across from the mall. Well, this looks plus size to me. We carry that for old ladies. Stop wasting my time. I didn't realize customers were a waste of time. Never mind, I have a real customer to wait on. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah, I'm going on a cruise and I'm looking to get a whole new wardrobe. We just got our new summer line. That's why I'm here. I saw the ad. Well, you're lucky to have Vicky. I'm the top salesperson at this store. Well, for starters, I'll take this one here and this one. Very well. I'll put these in the dressing room for you. Will there be anything else? I hope so. <laughs> Vicki, you're needed in the sales office. Oh, and there's something I have to take care of. I'll be back in a few. No worries. I'll be here. I have great news. Winston's is introducing a new swimwear line. As long as it keeps the fat shoppers away, it's fine by me. Why would you care about that? Because if I want to go whale watching, I'll take a boat. Well, I can't make any announcements yet, but there will be a training tonight. Vicki doesn't want plus size customers in the store. What will they do about it? So did you find anything else? Yes, I'd love to try this on. Well, let me take you to the dressing rooms then. Well, actually, I need some evening wear. Can we look at that first? Absolutely, right this way. What is she still doing here? She's looking for her size. You're never going to find her size. Why don't you just get rid of her? I'll wait on who I want to wait on. Why do you care? All I know is you work on commission like I do. So why waste time on a lost cause like her? There are more important things than commission, you know. I don't even know why you're in sales, okay? You really should be a dressing room attendant. Dressing room attendant? I've been working here longer than you. Not after I tell Mrs. Reynolds. Then you'll beg for that dressing room job. Did you need something? I'm with a customer. Oh, don't mind me. I don't want to be a bother. No, you're fine. Sorry to make you wait. I'll get rid of them. Oh, no, actually, I need some beachwear too. Oh, right this way. Wow, hot colors this year. Yeah, so this is our swimsuit department. We're still getting our summer selection in. Oh, really? Should I wait? I don't think so. The good stuff always sells out early. Vicki, I need you. Yes, Mrs. Reynolds? I got a call from corporate. They want us to pull all the plus size swimwear. It's about time. It's embarrassment having those people in our store. Wait a minute, half of it's gone. Do you know anything about that? You're right, it is. It was here this morning. How can that be? We didn't sell any of it today. You know what? It had to be that heavy woman that Sophia was waiting on this morning. She couldn't have taken it if Sophia was with her. Your sales meeting. She was all alone. But. How would she get our inventory out of the store without getting caught? Hello, she's the size of a house. There are plenty of places to hide it. Well, I've got to stop her before she gets out of the store. And you better do something about that, Sophia. Ma'am, stop what you're doing. Who are you? I'm the store manager, and you've got some explaining to do. Explain what? I haven't done anything wrong. Tell it to the security people. You're coming with me. Fine, let's get this over with. What is this all about? I'm sure it's a mistake. The store thinks that the plus size customer has been shoplifting. Could that be true? Vicki! What is it, Sophia? They want you down at the security office. 
I'm not falling for that. I haven't done anything wrong. No, we have some missing swimwear and they need your help. Why do they need my help? I already told them who did it. Really? Because they think it's my customer. <laughs> it's a good thing because it is her. Why would you assume it's my customer? Because we don't get people like that in this store. We only want regular customers. Well, Mrs. Reynolds says you need to identify her. Why me? I don't know. Something about being a witness. Fine, I'll go to the security office. Because unlike you, I'm a team player. Is this the one that took the swimwear? Yes. Is there anything else? I don't know. Does that work for you? That's all we need. God, I can't believe this. Good, because we have a training to attend to. You stay put. Don't I get a phone call or something? Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Today, I'm proud to announce the new Daniela Swan line of swimwear for real women. And before you see the advertising, I'm proud to share some of the new product with you right now. That's it. That looks like plus size. Ugh, not more of that stuff. That's right. We've been missing a major segment of the market. We have? Yeah, those customers never shop here. Yeah, that's the idea. And I have the honor of introducing you to Daniela in person. But first, I want to share with you the in-store advertising. What? Is that her? Yeah, it is. Uh, no! And without further ado, I want you to meet Daniela. Daniela? Daniela? What is it? I have a Daniela Swan down here in security. What should I do with her? You do? Send her up. Okay, will do. Before she gets here, I can explain. What is there to explain? It wasn't me. She said she took it. Took what? She's being held by security. They accused her of shoplifting. Really? Who accused her of that? Karen said it. She took the swimwear. I didn't say it. Vicky said she took it. Vicky, why would you say that? Well, if she didn't take it, who did? Did you ever think that you're wrong? We asked Daniela to analyze our current product line. See? No one took it. You tricked me! Enough of this quibbling, because here she is, Daniela Swan. Mr. Adams, thank you so much. What a pleasure to have my new line of leisure clothing here at Winston's. It is a delight to finally have a clothing brand for big, beautiful bodies. We love our curve models and we need more. This is so exciting. Now that you put it this way, I see what we've been missing. Nobody loves Plus customers more than me. Really? Because that's not what I heard. Well, whatever you heard is wrong. Well, the good news is I'm not firing you. Of course not. I'm your best salesperson. Maybe someday, but not anymore, because I'm transferring you to dressing room attendant. What? Hello, I'd like to do a return. A return? Let me see that. Do you have a receipt? No, I don't have my receipt. You stole these. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw you in the store last week. What you saw was me shopping. I bought these and some other things. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We've had a lot of theft here at Connor's department store. Maybe so, but not for me. And why would you be buying women's clothes? I bought a gift for my wife, but I changed my mind. Nice try. I know you took these off the rack and brought them straight here, wanting money. No, I didn't. Why would you think that? I don't have to think. I'm calling security and they're going to haul you off to jail. What? Ruth is accusing the homeless man of taking clothes from the department store and trying to return them for cash. Is she right? What? Yeah. 
Hey, Vicky. What's up? Did you sell all of the Nicole Taylor collection? What are you talking about? They're all missing. And we just got them in. Maybe they shipped them out. You know how that e-commerce mail order stuff works. I better call down to shipping and check. Shipping, this is Gabriel. Did you ship out all of the Nicole Taylor merchandise? No, but I heard Mrs. Palmer is pulling the stock. Why? She said for the East Lake store. They supposedly ran out. Well, now we're out too. I can look on the computer and see if there's any other stores that have them. We can transfer them in. Good, because we have a show coming up. East Lake has inventory, but they didn't get it from us. Well, then where did our inventory go? You gotta ask Mrs. Palmer. All right, you. I'm the store manager. You're in big trouble. I am? Mr. Connors? Is that you? Bradford Connors. Do I know you? Wow. To what do we owe the honor of having the founder of our department stores here? I still need to shop. Why not shop at the department store I used to run? I know you're retired now. I, I just don't know how this could have happened. Sounds like you got a problem with your staff. Well, I just want to say that I'm sorry. Is there any way that I can make this up to you? Well, I'm sorry too. Not only do you have an employee problem, looks like you have a theft problem as well. Well, all I know is Ruth definitely needs a talking to. Well, if that's the case, maybe I should get out of your hair. No, uh, if you don't mind, would you come with me? She needs a lesson. Well, all right. Turns out, the man isn't homeless at all. Won't Ruth be surprised when she finds out he's the founder of the department stores? We got a mail order for an Amanda Carson clutch. Which one? Mm, the SKU 856952, the cream color day traveler. We haven't had that in a while. We must have sold the last one. Not according to the computer. So someone must have taken it. You don't think it was Jenny, do you? Why would you say that? Because no one can shoplift since we got the security tax. All right, where is it? This is my locker, right here. Well, that purse must be in there, because I can smell it. Wow, you must have a good nose, but I don't have it. Oh yeah? Well, show me inside. See? All right, fine, but I know that purse is around here somewhere. Someone has been taking merchandise from the store, but it isn't Jenny. Will they figure out who it is? Ruth, do you know who this is? Yeah, that's the hobo I caught stealing clothes. No, that's Bradford Connors, as in Connors Department Stores. Really? Why didn't he say anything? I shouldn't have to. You should treat all customers the same. I'm sorry. We've had a lot of theft. And look at him. When I was in charge, we put security tags on clothes to prevent theft. We still do. What we found out, it was an internal problem. Internal? Employees were taking merchandise. <laughs> Imagine that. What? So he couldn't have been taking clothes right off the rack and returning them, could he? That's just a technicality. I did the right thing. No, you didn't. And as far as I'm concerned, you're through at Connor's department stores. Fine, I'll just go clean up my locker. Too late. I already asked security to do so. Oh, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. I have some personal things in there. I don't think so. In fact, here he is now. 
can I just have my things and I'll go quietly? I've completed my investigation. What is that? I think we found who's been taking our merchandise. It wasn't me. I swear. Oh, really? We found all of this and more in Mrs. Palmer's locker. Looks like you have bigger problems than being fired. That's right. Security, take her away. Come on, you. You're taking a trip downtown. No. Agnes Palmer tried to blame the homeless man for all the missing inventory in the store. But it turns out that she was the culprit. Wonder what they should do with her. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow Totally Studios to see more.